What's going on guys, it's Boxing Lowdown and I'm back here with another video. Now, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Feel free to drop a comment if you like and I'll happily get back to you. Now, I saw an Anthony Joshua interview on Sky Sports News and uh, he was talking about his career and where he sees it going and obviously he was talking about the fight with Tyson Fury that we're all hoping to see this year. Now, uh, something interesting, Joshua said that he feels like he only has five more years left in his career. Now, he is 31 years old and heavyweights these days do tend to go on later than uh, the, the lighter fighters. You know, you see heavyweights uh, that were at the top go on until they're like late 30s, 40s. Uh, you've only got to look at the likes of the Klitschko brothers. Uh, you've got to look at the likes of Lennox Lewis and so on. Uh, these guys fought on until their late 30s, 40s. So, um, yeah, with even now, today, you've got Alexander Povetkin, Luis Ortiz. Both of those fighters are in their 40s and they're still in the top 10 of most people's heavyweight rankings. So uh, heavyweights do tend to fight on later. But with Joshua at 31 years old, thinking about retiring in the next five years, that would take him up to 36, obviously. He only had one fight last year and that was due to, obviously, the pandemic that we've got going on against Kubrat Pulev. He won that in very good fashion. And um, yeah, five years in his career, I mean, that would take him to, yeah, I mean, we've got the Tyson Fury fight, hopefully this year, that could be a two fight deal. And then if he was to win that, you know, reach the very pinnacle of the heavyweight division, become the undisputed heavyweight champion, then I guess it kind of makes sense. You know, I mean, if you feel like you've done everything, you've gathered all the belts, you've beaten like the best guys in Tyson Fury. Um, so yeah, I mean, what would what would you do after that? I mean, he's got a very good resume anyway. Maybe you take on the likes of a uh, Alexander Usyk or maybe a Deontay Wilder or somebody like that. But there's only so much defenses you can make for so long. I can't see AJ being that long reigning champion like Vladimir Klitschko was because he has so much other interests as well. I mean, he's got his management company that he's got going on where he manages other fighters and he's investing into other things. So I think it's a realistic target for him to um, finish the sport within five years. And uh, hopefully within that time, we get to see the big fights happen. So um, I'll probably, I mean, if you pose the same question to Tyson Fury, he he's like, been back and forth of it one minute he says that he's going to carry on for as long as he can and then the next he could be like yeah this could be my last fight so uh the landscape tends to change in heavyweight boxing and i'm sure it will again but at the moment joshua is saying that he feels he only has uh five more years left in his career and listen five years can be a long time i'm only saying only but five years i mean if you get to get the fights that you want to have then yeah i mean you can still make a lot out of your career so let's see what happens aj um yeah i thought i'd just mention that with the Tyson Fury fight as well, uh, that's what we're all looking forward to. It is really looking like it could take place this year, maybe in May or early June. But obviously with the current lockdown, the first fight is likely not to take place in the UK. It's probably going to take place somewhere like Saudi Arabia or even Singapore. I was heard, heard that that might be a front runner to host a fight. So let me know your thoughts and opinions on it, guys, in the comment section below. Don't forget to like the video, share and subscribe if you haven't already subscribed already. And I'll catch you on the next video.